the new Cintiq 24, um, this is going to be our, our new flagship. This is going to be our new um, biggest and brightest uh, interactive pen display that we've got. The, the new feature is that we decided to go widescreen. Uh, we decided to go with a resolution which is uh, 1920 by 1200. What we've done is we've actually changed the stand quite a bit. So if you compare the Cintiq 21 and the Cintiq 12, um, the stand can actually go as far down as 10 degrees. We can actually prop it up as well. So you can maybe you'll be able to see that we've actually got a counterweight. So the idea here is that we can actually have it drifting off a table. So when you do want to work in applications like Photoshop or Illustrator or any other kind of graphics application, um, you can work really up close, up to the work. So again here, I can easily take a brush, I can tilt it, and I can really go in quite in depth into any part of the artwork that I need to work with. Across the top here, we've actually got the information button, we've got a keyboard button, and we've got our driver button. The top button that we've got here with the touch ring allows me to scroll in, scroll out. But again, we've also got buttons here that allow us to rotate, and also our brush sizes as well. So uh, traditionally, we've been working with sRGB. Now we're working with Adobe RGB and our, our colour space, our colour gamut is actually 92%. So when it comes down to working with um, profiling, for example, and you want to go out and you want to see what you're going to print, we've actually got a, a lot more colour that we can visually visualise actually on the Cintiq 24. All the buttons can be fully customised and what's more impressive to me is that each application can have its own profile, so you can actually have um, that functionality change between applications as you switch. So uh, you might have a different profile for Photoshop and a different one for the Finder or so on. Uh, I can imagine using this for when I'm doing quite detailed work in Photoshop or Illustrator. So trying to draw smooth vectors in Illustrator is quite difficult with a mouse. So somewhere where you're actually, you're actually drawing onto the screen and getting really smooth curves is actually great and uh, it'll make my work a lot more accurate. I also like the way that it is kind of set up a bit like an illustrator's drafting table so it feels kind of quite natural. Um, somebody who is, spends a lot of time drawing, you know, it's this kind of position that they take when they're working on this is just going to feel completely natural. One of the things that I found with the Cintiq 24HD is that I'm actually using a lot more of the functionality that was already built into the into OS 3, which is what I normally use, but something that I normally ignored because I couldn't quite understand how my wrist movements would translate to the screen with tilt. But now with this particular model here, it's a lot more immediate. In a nutshell, the Cintiq 24 is a monitor. It's a monitor with Intuos 4 technology built into it. So everything that you've been running on your computer, it could be a Mac, it could be a PC, it should all should work quite happily on the Cintiq 24.